life stops. There is stress, there is drama. Like on the pessimist for whom half filled glass of water is always half empty, I too rush to conclude that destiny is written, future is predefined. I too rush to conclude that future is a gift. But then I heard, I heard the national poet of Pakistan, Dr. Alama Muhammad Iqbal saying that elevate yourself so high that even God, before issuing every decree of destiny, should ask you, tell me what your intent is. And I heard him willing to see the Punjab, NWFP, Balochistan and Sindh amalgamated into a single state. And I saw a large number of Muslims in journal and Qaidiyaza Muhammad in Jinnah in particular converting Iqbal's vision into reality. I saw them sacrificing their lives for their future and I saw them achieving their future in the form of Pakistan. And then I realized that future is not a gift. It is an achievement. <laughs> Mr. President, life is action. Action is the basic to stimulate faith. Work is worship. Man is born to work in his life. Mr. President, man is born to work in his life. He, like steel, shines in use and rusts in rest. For a man of action, there is no tomorrow. He makes the best of his time. Mr. President, I watch through the pages of mankind and chapters of history and I see. I see that it was the untiring labor of a man that had discovered unknown islands, covered the breasts of sea, sealed the heights of heaven, counted the stars of infinite cosmos and revealed the secrets of nature. I dive into the chapters of history and I see a woman dreaming, taking action, and transforming her dream into a reality. It is the story of Madame Marie Curie, who wasn't given admission in any of the universities, but she took action. She took action and became the first person ever to win two Nobel Prizes. I see two brothers dreaming to fly. People laughed at them, but they took action and made the first ever aeroplane. This is the story of five brothers who proved that future is achievable. I see a paralyzed scientist Stephen Hawking and Olympic runner Betty Robinson. I see a deaf actress Marley Martin and I see a handicapped pistol shooter Carrie. I see Nishana Imtiaz, Dr. Abdul Kadir Khan making this nation a super nuclear power. I see Arfa Kareem Randhalla, the youngest Microsoft software, Microsoft software engineer of this nation and I see Thomas Edison failing 11,000 times while inventing a bulb. Yes, Mr. President, the chapters are countless, the pages are numberless, but the result is the same, that future is not a gift, it is an achievement. is a curse to man. A man who believes in destiny loses all the incentives and incentives to work. Man, if he believes in destiny, he will lose all the incentives to work. Future is a fruit to which labor is a seed. That means no pain, no gain, no sweat, no sweet. Mr. President, history has witnessed that when there was action, we were the masters, we were the kings. But today the absence of action humiliated us into comity of nations. The absence of action made us slaves, made us cowards, and made us underling. But Mr. President, the fault is not in our stars, but in us that we are underling. Mr. President, every dark cloud has a silver line. Let us unite and work harder for a new future, for a new Pakistan. A Pakistan free from corruption, extortion, free from terrorism, nepotism, favoritism, and racism. A Pakistan where Kashmir banega Pakistan. A Pakistan where Kashmir banega Pakistan. Because I believe that future is an achievement. It is not a gift. I believe that future is an achievement. It is not a gift. 
i thank you all.